Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A friend of the channel commented on my previous video asking how the Uno R4 Wi-Fi works with Arduino OTA. And then it dawns on me that I have never done anything over the air. OTA, or over the air, lets you update a supported Wi-Fi connected devices program or even shared variables from the Arduino IoT Cloud. This article lists both Arduino devices and ESP32 devices that have been tested to work with OTA on the Arduino IoT Cloud. First, we need to upload a sketch from the Arduino web editor to our device via the USB connection. To work with OTA, we need to set up our device for the Arduino IoT Cloud and create a thing. This will generate a default sketch for us to work with. Log into Arduino IoT Cloud. Click on Devices. Add a device. Then you click on Arduino Devices. Now, if you're using Arduino IoT Cloud or Arduino Web Editor for the first time, you will need to install the Arduino Cloud Agent. We download the Arduino Cloud Agent installer, run the installation. There. Now, Arduino IoT Cloud can detect our Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board. Now, Arduino IoT Cloud configures and updates the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board. And all of this can take some time, so I'll be cropping and compressing a bit here and there. Let's give this device an obvious name, Maker Wi-Fi 1010. Okay, our device is now in the Arduino IoT Cloud. Now, we want to create a thing. You could create a new thing right here from the device we just added, but I'm going back to the Things tab on the Arduino IoT Cloud main page. We're following this article here for the directions. Look for the links in the description below. We're going to create a new thing and name it Smart LED. Let's add a variable named light. For the variable type, we want to select Boolean. Here the article shows something different from what I'm seeing in my console. Just set these accordingly. I left the settings of the variable at default. Now let's create a dashboard. I'm going to give it the same name as my thing I just created. Let's add a switch to the dashboard. Here, we can associate the switch on the dashboard with our Boolean variable named light. Save the dashboard and play with the switch a little bit. We need to copy four lines of code from the article and paste them into our sketch for the smart LED thing. Paste the first line after the include statement. Set the LED pin mode in void setup. Paste this line in void loop to turn the LED on and off. Finally, paste this line into the on light change function. We need to associate a device to the sketch. Whoops, I forgot to add the network to my smart LED thing. As part of my smart LED thing, I need to add my Wi Fi SSID and password. No peeking. Now we can upload our smart LED sketch to the Maker Wi-Fi 1010. Of course, this takes time, so I'm cropping and compressing. Okay, the sketch has been uploaded. Let's go to the dashboard and flip the light switch a few times. It seems the switch is reversed somehow, like the light's on when the switch is off, and the switch is on and the light's off. I'm sure we could fix this in the code. But I want to move on to working with OTA because that's the point of this video. It took a while to show up, but finally you can see I can connect to the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 on both the USB and over the air. So for the drama, I'm disconnecting the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 from my USB port and just hooking it up to this jump battery. Great. We can still see the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 is available over the air in our sketch editor. We follow along in this article to update 
the void loop in the sketch with code that will flash the LED on and off for each second. Now let's upload the revised sketch over the air. Again, this can take some time, so we'll crop and compress. Okay, the sketch is uploaded successfully over the air. That's so cool. Let's play with the switch on the dashboard again. You see the LED flashing when the switch is on and it goes dark when the switch is off. I bet you can think of a few things you would like to try now that we can send sketches over the air from the Arduino IoT Cloud to your compatible device. I will have to see if I have one of these ESP32 boards. Hey, leave a comment down below. I might answer your question. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.